doing the video and the update, as you saw, those were the past two trades on a percentage basis. Uh, and I'm doing that basically for promotion. I was asked to. So there you go. You can see what the returns were. If you made 20 to 30% on helium, great, fantastic. Uh, or 25 and above uh, to 55% on HUT 8, fantastic. Now I did a little bit better on it because I was uh, selling in the teens over here. I kind of waited because I saw there were a lot of buyers. So, and I sold the rest up here. So. I made 50 something percent on it overall on the overall trade. So I, I did very well. I'm very happy with it. Um, no rush on it. Uh, you know, um, uh, actually the past month, uh, I have absolutely killed it. I've, I've done very well, um, which is nice because we, we had some opportunities as you can see, uh, ahead of time. Now, one thing to note, you know, when I head short, I'm, I'm hedging against what I already own from down here. I want to make this clear to people. Do not, uh, you know, uh, well, I can't tell you what to do because I'm not a financial advisor, but I do not ever go naked short on a, on something like this because I'm looking for longer term targets to go all the way back up to uh, the four and six dollar range in the future. So I'm mostly long this, and when it does come back, you know, I'll trade the different levels up and down, but, you know, I would never be a naked short, you know, even though I'm selling into this. It's already against what I already own. So make that very clear. And the other thing is uh, some of these, like on this, not all brokers allow you to, to short. It depends on your broker and um, uh, if they allow you to borrow. And, you know, there's all kinds of, uh, depending on what country you're from and uh, who you use as a broker. So keep that in mind. Um, and, uh, yeah, that, I just want to make that clear. Uh, Mara is over here. Let's go over and take a look. I had a lot of people that got into this one from down here on this pattern. It's the same as um, our friend uh, um, Huddy. Um, and, but it's going to be a little bit more wild as you can see the spike up that you have here. And I am again doing the same thing from what I already own below, um, selling and I'm looking for it to return all the way down to this 480 mark. It could do it pretty quick too. Look at that spike up that you have right here from the $7 range. Um, 711 is its 200% mark. It should not extend well above that for any length of time. Uh, you can see the pattern. I drew it right here, and it's the inverse of what you see down here when it was bottoming. And it's very similar to HUD. You know, I, I had friends that went into this um, based off of uh, HUD as well. Uh, they played both of them, so they've done a little bit better on a percentage basis off of here. Um, I didn't have as much of it, so uh, not a big deal, but. This did on a percentage basis do really well. Uh, let's go and look at Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin, as we see right here, let's get away from the short term. As you can see, we spiked up. Where can this go? Well, I got my head shorts down here. Do, 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 do. I hate the way they move these charts. All right, so let's go over and do a recap. What I think where we can go, I think we can get all the way up to maybe 20K. I do not think it's gonna really hold. I'm still looking for numbers to go back down. We're still in a negative market. I'm not looking until late summer for us to start getting positive price action to any degree. Um, right now we're just having a, a, we're bouncing off of the oversold conditions, which is fine, but I don't think they're gonna last. And, um, uh, you know, but I am mostly long. I'm always really long in uh, here. Um, but uh, I will look to add, I'll probably add 10% more if we get it back to about the 20K mark. And again, when I do that, I'm only hedging against what I already own. So it's kind of like blocking your profits. That's one thing I like to repeat because when you do hedges, like I was a hedge up here and you buy, 
and you short and you hedge again and you buy again, you're just building your profitability on something. So you're building up your crypto and you're, it's growing. Um, and that's the way I kind of look at it uh, when I'm trading. Now, Ethereum I do not have a hedge on currently um, because I'm looking to for it to overextend and get back to above 1500 before I hedge short against what I already own again because uh, it was a great buy down here around that uh, under 1100 mark um, and uh, just like with Bitcoin uh, I just think this has more room to go up and down so I like to try to trade the in-betweens on it uh, percentage wise you know if you go from your 1600 all the way down to here I mean on a percentage basis that's a, a big move and you know you're, so you're uh, increasing the profitability by a good amount um, you're building up uh, and this has always been a nice trading um, uh, the ranges on it have always been really fantastic uh, more so than Bitcoin to some degree um, <clears throat> so that's what I'm looking for there and I will look to hedge when it gets to that 1500 mark I don't feel comfortable doing it anywhere earlier than that I I bypass this level over here. It just looks too congested. Um, so I'm looking more for that up there, uh, just so you know. Um, and what else do we have here? Uh, we can look at that I see in the market. I'm scanning around for other trading opportunities, but the only ones that I'm really seeing are winding up being ones that I want to sell uh, to short, actually. And... Um, yeah, I will update you guys in the beginning of the week. Don't see anything right now. Uh, mostly it's just taking profits. Uh, Hut 8, if you traded this, uh, it was a great trade. It's super overextended. It could continue to get really overextended from here. Uh, the next level up that I would be looking at, let's see. Yeah, this is way, way overextended. Uh, Probably going to find resistance right around this 150 area. Let's see. We draw from here to there. Yeah. Say maybe 153 can get up to. It's only four cents away. Um, but again, you know what I'm looking for. Uh, when we do pull back, it could be a big drop very quickly. <laughs> you can see the pattern that you have here. But it, it has been really oversold. But anyway. I'm happy with the original trade. It did everything that I was looking for, and it was very profitable. And uh, we'll see where we go from here. And I will uh, talk to you guys at the beginning of the week and see if I can find something new and interesting to trade. All right. Have a great weekend.